uh, thing you shared about Little Wayne, and then I like messaged you. I was like, yeah, I just listened to Little Wayne today. Yeah. Cartoon. Yeah, is that cartoon. why you were late? You were listening to Little Wayne? Oh no, no. <laughs> this has been like a like a like a, like a, like a four or five. I was too deep in it. I was listening to Prom Queen. <laughs> five, day, five day adventure right now because I'm like uh, so I've gone through Carter one. I've, I've got I, I've gone through Carter three, not a human being two, and I'm like on the next one, which I think is 2018 or 2019. I've never. Uh, you can ask LJ, he can attest. Oh, I'm a pretty four. big music guy, and yeah. like, I like listening to albums music from Tibet. And, and, and uh, this is, and I've always been a Little Wayne fan. And mm-hmm. it's kind of low key crazy yeah. to be listening to all these songs and then like, banger. Bang, this was a hit. This was a hit. This was also a hit during yeah. my time. Like, I feel like 80 being. 85 being generous, 85% of Lil Wayne's music that he's put out, 85 of it, 85% being generous, maybe like 75% being realistic, are all fucking hits. Like, I think it are bangers. I don't know about hits, though. Because I came out in like one year, he came out with like, I don't know, 80 mixtapes or some shit like that. And they're all bangers. To me, well, they get 80 hits, when I, when I'm like he got a lot of hits from like 2000, like 2004, 05, 06. Oh yeah. Like then when like the Fireman came out. Well, right now on Spotify, Spotify his number that, one that, song. Well, is from that, the new that's Spider-Man. the same time that Carter that Three came sense. out, and he had like Why? three, four hits on that album relevant. alone. You know, Little Wayne is still relevant. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he's also always been. He's paved the way for a lot of these new rappers too. That, you know, and that's why I have the the you want to have Drake in my voice that I have in right the now. <laughs> that he is, you know? uh, I think we maybe don't get some mumble rap without Lil Wayne. Yeah. So get yeah, it that way you will. Maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe you're into mumble rap. Maybe that's your I, shit. I love Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne is your god. Mm-hmm. Or, Maybe you feel like the rap game is a little bit better off without that shit. <laughs> so it's like, damn, Wayne, you let us astray. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> are you I saying he quit. introduced? Uh, are you saying, like, he influenced mumble rappers now? Are you saying he is a mumble rapper as well? Because I'm not saying that he's a mumble rapper. Okay. I'm yeah. saying you that. you saying without him, you don't I'm get I'm saying mumble that rap. the way he vocalizes in a lot of his songs yeah. is, like, this far from mumbling. No, there, uh, I think there was a lean, so, there was a hard lean face, face for a little way. Where, yeah, where he was pretty much fucking mumbling. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I don't attest that at so all. And so I think like just the generation that like grew up listening to that when they tried their hand at being MCs. And they were 12 they, and didn't have lean. Uh, yeah, that's they were, what they were replicating. <laughs> they weren't hammered like Lil yeah, Wayne no, was. No, I owned some bumble rap. And it's like, okay, cool, you can kind of do that. Yeah, but you like, could say that, you know, like anyone doing a cheap imitation is going to be bad. All that yeah, and all I'm saying, and all I'm saying is, is like, yeah, like, okay, so Little Wayne was so influential to the rap game that an entire ass generation of artists uh, felt the need to do a poor imitation. <laughs> yeah. like, that's basically oh, yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's basically where I'm at. That's fair. Like, that's fair. Yeah. But when it comes to, like, the metaphors... Oh, yeah. Like, wordplay. Wordplay yeah. with this guy, <laughs> We were just he, talking about this so with, uh, fucking sick with it. Like, that's, that's why I appreciate it. It's because, like, the mumble rap shit, like, it might sound similar, but lyrically, there's no fucking comparison. No, that's, like, that, and, and that's no why way. it's, I think, so I would like, never call him said, a mumble rapper. But he I would said, never call him a mumble is, rapper. Real niggas yeah. moving, was it real niggas moving solid cycles? Like lasagna, lasagna. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 like, it's just like, the, the I saw a clip, <laughs> I saw a clip of Lil Wayne and Eminem the other day, they both have to Google their lyrics. 
like before shows. Yeah. They, they both have to like Google their lyrics <laughs> to be like, the fuck did I do here again? <laughs> like, well, if you think of like how, like we were just saying, how many songs and how many hits, like. Right, how <laughs> That's like if you weren't fucking here for the last episode, we did a whole episode <laughs> without you, Doug. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> blame you. Like, I, I thought I was going to be done. <laughs> Uh, he thought he was going to be done slaying dick by then, but yeah, he, had to go home he was still his kid. He had to go home and wash his balls. Yeah, he could have washed his dick and had to put the kimono so. on. So I'm still catching his tin there. I should be pitching by now. Anyway, <laughs> you, know missed the, you missed the ludicrous conversation. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Ludacris Part Two. Is that what the <laughs> but yeah, no, I think head to the floor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ludacris <laughs> is so <laughs> Ludacris is so wildly <laughs> underrated. Are we? Recording? Whereas I feel yeah, uh, <laughs> we've been recording since what? Since, just since I came back. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they got Rocket Man and all that yeah. shit? I feel like, yeah, I feel like. Did you say there was water in here? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah but they're, they're underneath this guy's leg. Oh, one shit. for him, one for you. Word and then wild. I put yours on the table. You got it. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> you I just raise a beer. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Jesus. Like coconut. It's like fish yeah. water. Yeah. <laughs> From Canada, so yeah. it's like so much better. <laughs> but um, I can taste the smoke. I love it. Ludacris <laughs> is wildly <laughs> underrated, while Lil Wayne was wildly overrated. I don't know about wildly overrated for Lil Wayne. Yeah. I'd put well, it in. Well, it depends on the year you're talking about. I guess about. it depends the on the year. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there was a At, moment. There was a moment where it was like, all right, y'all. Like, like Lil Wayne was a new fucking like, single Lil every was held day such for a, a minute. Like, for a minute. Yeah, that was too much. <laughs> like, I think even he now would say that was too much. Um, <laughs> like, I feel like it was when I was in high school. Was when there was like not any songs on the radio and hip hop that didn't Wayne. have at least a feature. If it wasn't his song, yeah. completely, he was at least featured on it. You know, and I'm saying that was that's like a well, good people, problem to have. But well, a Wayne, problem. if you hear this, yeah. come back to Idaho. But I think I hope they don't arrest you. Oh, he won't time. come back. Oh, he ain't coming back to Idaho. Anybody who well, ever gets arrested in Idaho never comes back to Idaho. Except for me. Yeah, as you say, here I, I am. This place. <laughs> Except to say, here I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lil Wayne came back to Parker Parker after when they threw uh, water balls and shit. Yeah, he, he ain't being with that bullshit. No, we love you. Well, he I feel like people will too. go and say the like, same route about Drake. Because he's on so much shit. He's on so many songs. I fucking I fucking love so many Wade, people that Drake. people don't like. <laughs> Wayne is all, responsible dude. for that, for sure. I know. Young and money, Wayne bro. is directly responsible for Drake. So now you're starting to see why my approach to Nicki the little Minaj, Wayne I love. I, I was waiting. I was about to say Nicki. I've seen Nicki in Nicki the Minaj is just the one good thing to come out of that whole fucking thing. I'm going get on that too. Yeah, it is. That's that's good. Listen. We all love Nikki. I got to see. <laughs> I, I got to see Nikki open for Britney Spears uh, in Sacramento, California. What? Nice. Uh, this bro. must have been a long uh, time ago. It was. It was. It was probably twenty. When she was still under oh, wow. contract. Yeah, yeah. Britney was still in, in, in like in cahoots with being shut up. And, yeah. I don't think cahoots no, is the right word. You're right. I, I, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I she was in on it. I don't even know what I was like. There was something I was going to say. <laughs> She's in, 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 I'm a huge Britney fan, fan too. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know you love her. Dude. You love her like I love Nikki. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You love Nicki Minaj. But I fucking she did something to me when I was a teenage boy, and Ooh. I'm not responsible for it. Hey, that's what that's how I felt what Jed did to me. When we talked yeah, about yeah. This. <laughs> Call <laughs> back, dude. Hey, to the that's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> it's not under my <laughs> control. <laughs> Some tingle with a bomb of nuts, and I was like, yeah, that's it. <sighs> yeah, uh, the whole Young Money phenomenon was like I was I actually really liked that tape the Young Money like that yeah, shit was or like fire. No Ceilings mixtape dude it's just 
track after track bangers, the whole thing. Especially if you got subs, dude. Yeah. It's so like, like my go-to. And like back then, and back when I feel like back when Drake had a fucking fire in his belly and he was trying to prove himself, he was the shit. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. He when he got that chair, you then know, when he like, yeah, dude, and then walk <laughs> <laughs> now. Yeah. And then uh, he got famous, and he was just yeah. getting hoes on tap. And so then all of his music became about, I got hoes on tap, and they be breaking my heart. And that's my whole thing. I am the black Taylor Swift. Like, that's basically all he is, and it fucking bothers me. I like the tape, It though. seems like a squanderance of talent, I feel like he's been... Mismanaged, oh, pushed in different directions. But is Taylor right. Swift a squadrons of talent? No, she no. is not. They just found the lane and then they just blew the fuck up. And, uh, but here's yeah. the thing. Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift found the lane and blew the fuck yeah, up? Yeah, of Yeah, that's country. She like, blew the fuck up and now no. she's in her own shit, dude. No, that's what I, I'm not saying country is the lane. She found a lane with like, this is my audience, target audience. For sure. It doesn't matter if they like rap country, whatever, like, these are my people, whatever I produce, they'll listen to. And pop then she music. just started doing her own it shit. That's music. exactly what Lil yeah. Wayne did, too. Where yeah. he wasn't like, oh, I'm only gonna make this one specific type of, like, music that comes out of Louisiana, the yeah. South, this and that. He's like, I'm gonna do a different sound, I'm gonna do mixtapes on anyone's beats, I'm gonna do features on everyone's shit, and I'll make a different themed record every yeah. year for my yeah. discography that's separate from that. Kind of like what Drake and is kind of doing. And then everyone had to kind of be like, all right, right you changed the whole thing. Like, we'll start doing that in our own careers. I mean, even know? Wiz Khalifa did the same thing, too. Like, he switched it up so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it falls into, like, multiple sub-genres and shit. So. <laughs> 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 Sorry. That's the, the off mic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take away from this. I so enjoy this I, conversation. A I lot. am, I am at heart an old head when it comes to hip hop. Yeah. So like, I probably am out of place in this conversation hip-hop, hip-hop. about about Lil Real Wayne hip-hop. and Drake and Wiz Khalifa <laughs> and so and so. Like, I like I like all these folks. <laughs> The realist. Uh, yeah, like, I think you can I, I recognize like what something is like and him. still like it. Yeah. That's why I do it, Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's I go to them for different things. Like, if I want, if I want something on in the background, sure, yeah, actually, yes, please. T Swizzle. Uh, no. Uh-huh. I was thinking more of, like, Lil Wayne and Drake. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. But, like, if I'm, like, in the car and I'm listening to music, no. <laughs> Damn it, I'm waiting for the fucking... No, it's got to be 90s hip-hop all oh. day till, like, the day I die, bro. And then and the like con- con- conscious <laughs> oh my god. T Swift was just an analogy to what Drake's <laughs> doing. And the reason she's not a squanderance of talent is because I think Drake has ghostwriters. I'm pretty sure Tay Swift writes all her own shit. Of course Drake has ghostwriters and a and Taylor Swift's heartbroken all the time. Of course she's writing all of her own stuff. I know, but I'm saying Drake could pay his ghostwriters to not be heartbroken on a track. Yeah, why, like, so sad? Yeah, like why, why do you have higher? a team of 12 sad-ass niggas in a room working on an album together? Like, that's what I want to know. Uh, we need someone from 23 to 27. Uh, recent breakup. No. Uh, he's got the kind of money where he's making moves like, hey, I'm going to pay you for six months to fall in love with this guy. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to make him propose to you. And that's when you tell him you're fucking all the homies. I need this <laughs> next record to hit, alright? <laughs> Just manufacture. Destroy shit. this guy. Oh so I can get a little God. of that pain on the disc. Like, like, like more but with emotional manipulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like killing people. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> What's 50 grand? Anybody would do that for 50 grand. That's a year's pay, you know? Financial motivation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Duh. <laughs> it's an investment, damn. He could probably write that off on his taxes. <laughs> probably. Like, the song yeah. made a million dollars. Congressman, congressman. It was the number one hit on the Billboard. <laughs> I raise of hands. Which congressperson tapped their foot on my shit? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's gotcha. right. That's uh, okay. <laughs> shit it's, hits, right? It's, it's different. No, you don't understand the whole Alexandria, thing. how are you not going to raise your hand? <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of real comfortable <laughs> saying her first name. Yeah, just, <laughs> instead of Senator Ocasio Cortez, fucking <laughs> like congressperson, I don't know her title. Yeah, like a first name uh-huh. basis, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man, it's always nice when things get quiet after a political. You guys, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck politics. You guys fuck with uh, T Pain. Um, since we're talking about yeah. T Pain. Yeah. Uh, uh, T Pain. I saw T Pain like three times in one year. Man, what was it? Did he, he have a hat on? The big top hat on? Nah, it was before. <laughs> I, was I have like before. more okay, respect okay, for yeah. T Pain. It was like having gotten to know him like in like podcasts and shit. Recent? Like recently, yeah, his podcast. Like I have like way more respect for him now. Yeah. <laughs> like I've back in the one. day, I was like really young, and he just was doing I'll the robot voice, episodes. and I was like, he's the robot. What podcast do you on? Just his own? Yeah, he has his own. Uh, yeah, I'll see you yeah, yeah. I'll see you about two favorite episodes. He's been shedding a lot of light on shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does he auto tune? No. Oh, <laughs> the interviewer is so, just like, "What's up?" Yeah, he, <laughs> plays, <laughs> he plays with the soundboards and shit sometimes, okay. but yeah, uh, yeah just like red band a little bit. I've never listened to his podcast myself, but I've seen the, same the clips. clips. I love yeah. the podcast. I, I love the clips. And I mean, and and I've already I've been. He has a video that he came out like. Right before the pandemic, I think, where he sings a whole bunch of his songs, but it's mm-hmm. like to a piano or something. Yeah, he does like, a cappella. It's like, not to his. He's audit. like a legit, like a consummate musician. Like yeah, he's well, like I know he made real all the, like he's like Will I Am, musician. where he like produce all his own music yes. and all that shit. Like so, like nothing but like respect and props, and some of his shit got played on the radio a little bit too much. But, like, that's not under his control. Yeah. yeah. It's, like when, it's like when I showed everybody LJ Young Gravy. the bartender. Yeah. That's not his fault. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like when I showed LJ Young Gravy, and then what, three or four three months Three months later, Young Gravy was popping. <laughs> and you were <laughs> ahead of that curve. He was, let it be known, that Brett Haney was ahead of the curve on the Young, Young Gravy, Gravy show. Gravy. Especially for Idaho, though. Like, there was probably hella people in California who already knew oh, about Young Gravy. Uh, but you were, you were tapped in. Is. You finger on the pulse with the Young Gravy. Speaking right. of people blowing up told you, bro. and being Young on the cutting out. edge of it beforehand, did you see that, uh, that recent article of the top ten comedians to watch in the oh. next year? No. Oh, the number one on the list was Sam Miller. Really? Yeah, they were number one out of the ten. And then it was like, it was weird, too. Well, I feel some... like he's like, he should have been number one on the list of motherfuckers you should have already been watching. Were, <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say, is there are some people on the list that it's like, if you don't know who this is, you don't really know no comedy. comedy yeah. Sam Talent was on the list, too. Bro. Which is like, that guy fucking wrote a book like ten years ago that's been on the bestseller list. You know what I mean? But I just I guess thought it was there's cool like there's people that, who know comedy and then there's people when there's like a fucking bigger and blacker or a raw or a, like that and they mm. fucking tune in but like Yeah, you know, when somebody's like, finally like yeah, their special like fucking or, Kevin Hart's crazy out. special from like what was that, like two thousand fucking eight or whatever. Yeah, that rocket. Like, seriously, even though he had been around for so much longer before that, he was in the fucking scary movies and shit. But yeah, like that special, like just blew him the fuck up. Like, yeah, like the machine with yeah, Bert. With the machine with Bert. Uh, fucking John Mulaney special. That first one that like skyrocketed him. Yeah, like so. There's like a few specials that like the general uh, public tune in for. And then there's all the other comedy specials. <clears throat> well, yeah, because if you look at people like Mulaney and Burt and stuff, they had three, four.
four specials before mm-hmm. that, and then it's like, oh, all of a sudden, right? This is same the thing one with stuck, same thing with know? Tom. I think he had like two or three uh, albums out before uh, his shit really started to pop. Like, nice. what was the album with bikes on it? Uh, uh, bikes, yeah, bikes. Uh, but that I feel like that was the moment when everybody started to know who Tom Segura yeah, yeah, yeah. was. But like because I had been into comedy, I was like, I've been listening to this motherfucker for, for a like few two specials. years now. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. called bad decisions. So, uh, it's called bad decisions. I Let's get it. Done. That. Um, yeah, that's the sweet uh, street. Fuck, I totally lost. What I was about to say bad decisions. Is it <laughs> I don't know. Max. That's who I know. I, I, just, know Tom I just bought it for the day. It, it, it smelled good as fuck, too, but you know me, dog, when it comes to good weed. Yeah, I, gotta yeah, I trust stuff, you. But, <laughs> but that's some doo doo shit. Ooh, it smelled new, man. So. It's fresh out the garden. Oh, shit. What, really, all jokes aside, were you busy with during the previous episode? Oh, I was. Getting some hit, getting, getting some hit. DJ always makes him so uncomfortable when he does <laughs> shit like that. Like, he's never grown out of it. Like, the, whole, the whole friendship, the whole time I've seen it, like, like, DJ will get overly sexual and Brett will shut down. <laughs> Especially in front of time. There that episode. That was great. Oh, you, uh, that was fun. Talk about Eve's What were you shit. doing? Oh, yeah. What were you doing? What were you doing? What were you doing? Because I thought you were at the mic with him, and then when he showed up, I was like, oh. oh. And then when I called and we didn't even answer my phone calls, so I was like, oh. My so, phone was charging oh. during that time. Uh, I I just had I had dinner plans so that I made. Ah. I made dinner oh, plans. Oh, you did mention that before. That yeah. Yeah. So where? What did you mention to that? Before and uh, maybe just when we were talking, it might yeah. not have been the group chat. Oh, okay. And Where'd you have dinner? At home, I I ordered a Hello Fresh thing. I'm on a Hello oh, Fresh thing. Okay. okay. Well, he had company, and they ended up staying a while. They ended up staying a while, yeah. and um, By and they was what did we have? We had pork. It was a it was a pork oh. with a creamy dill sauce. Oh. And beans. Oh. Oh. That's what they're calling it Dude, nowadays. Really Pork fucking cream fancy sauce. Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh coming in. Fucking okay. plug them if yeah. you want. Plug them. <laughs> plug them. Uh, plug like Hello Fresh. You, you might get a sponsor. <laughs> if we say Hello Fresh enough, <laughs> we have to show up in their algorithm. Use right? promo code <laughs> Fridge for ten percent <laughs> off your first one. <laughs> <laughs> Just making promo, promo code. codes. If the promo code fridge, <laughs> if the promo code fridge doesn't get you ten percent off your order, make yeah. sure you mention it in the comments for repetitively. <laughs> I don't know if that was Tag anything for you. Fresh. But it'll do something for me. <laughs> it'll do something. I appreciate that. <laughs> That would be hilarious. Oh, yeah. So to Hello Fresh, be like, "Hey, do you have a podcast from a fridge? Uh, <laughs> from a fridge? I think, I think, think we have a very natural symbiosis. Dude, how hard would it be at the top of your shit to be like, "Hey, Hello get Fresh gets sixteen free? That's what Hulu does. Yeah. You know, they got fucking Hello Fresh. But, but for you, like, yeah, all you, like you need is just to open the fridge with a Hello Fresh box. I like right, how there you go. You just, just said to this small businessman, "That's what Hulu." Does yes. <laughs> like, bro? I'm watching Hulu and guess what comes on? Hello Fresh. Oh, you you pay? You have ads? I don't, I don't have Hulu ads. So I don't. I can't really. It's targeted advertising. That's I, why I, we I, I don't have ads on Hulu. Like you motherfuckers. I, I, I get it through my uh, my Verizon and I try to upgrade <laughs> so that's that shit. Basic. And it's like, yeah, it's locked in. They're like, well, uh, this is what we offer. Yeah, that's why I don't watch Hulu. You gotta go to Hulu. Bro, Hulu for me is like twelve. I'm good. It's like 19 bucks a month now for like no ads. But it's locked into your it's, Verizon. So oh, it makes yeah. it hard to change. It's all just bundled. My Disney right. Plus don't have no commercials. Right, it is. Make it do email Plus, address, though. So. Make it do, you know, make it do account. And the yeah, only thing I true. watch on Dave right now, or on Dave, on Hulu, is Dave. The only thing I watch Season on Dave, right <laughs> you just call the back app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm sure is, Dave would be happy about yeah. that. <laughs> that. That show is legit. I like it a lot. Yeah. 
I need to catch up See, on it. I sent you a thing. Uh, uh, he's in the newest season. The Killer Mike's in the newest season. Mm-hmm. And that's when I, I sent you a thing because Dave shouted out Killer Mike's. He dropped his new album as- exclusively to artists. And his new album comes out, which I think is a solo album. Oh, it's just Killer Mike. I think it's just Killer Mike. It's from, oh, from what I read from shit. Dave's post. It was no like, Run the Jewels. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's his Crazy. Name? Yeah. Speaking uh, of new man. seasons, though, they got a new season of The Bear. Mm. Oh, oh, that's a good show, too. Yeah. I've never seen that show. I, I got to put, some, to I gotta put some time between me and actually being in the service <laughs> industry. <laughs> 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 or, yeah, no. I was like, <laughs> I'm not unwinding. Watch. I'm just reliving it <laughs> back to back. Like, I don't need that. It like, was a yeah. good show, though. Right? It was an amazing mm. show. I, two, I believed it. Like, season two is going to be probably just as big. Because then oh, it starts, yeah. look, you know, the dude from fucking yeah. uh, Shameless. Shameless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, it takes place in, New, in, in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And he happens to be a cook. Again, like Shameless, he's also Chicago's like, got bomb ass food, right, too. So. I don't believe it. I think it's like some kind of like sub universe. Like this is like Fiona's old restaurant after she moved away. <laughs> at, the end of the, uh, at the end of the last season, it left on a cliffhanger. So yeah, I'm stoked to see how that turns out. Because he was like, "Oh, I don't know, if this is gonna fail." I'm not gonna spoil it for everyone who hasn't watched the show. Yeah, but yeah, slow down, bro. It's a great show. Thank you. Uh, well, no, that's <laughs> the premise of the show is that the, he thinks this restaurant's gonna fail the whole time. That's yeah. the premise of the show. That's not spoiling. I mean, that's usually like honestly, working in restaurants, eighty percent of the time you think it's gonna fail. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like you're like, this shit can't be open for another fiscal quarter, and then somehow it is. Yeah, you got a line, <laughs> you line out the door, and you're still like, I don't know if I can pay everybody. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's never covered. But then there's also a new season of Black Mirror dropping. I just uh, seen that. Days. I just seen that today. New when, season of Black Mirror. When does that Mirror. come out? Uh, it's out. It just dropped. Oh, it did? Uh, it's it's season out? six, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah oh, fuck yeah. I got Shit. something. Oh, today's Drop Friday. Today, yeah. I'm I got so something to watch on my flight home. That's a good ass show. I like Friday. it because every single episode is different. Have you guys done the Bandersnatch? The I one? need to. Oh, oh my God. Do acid and then do it. It's oh, so God, fun. no. Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> oh, my God. So much fun acid. I promise you. <laughs> Dude, then what do I do with the other 10 hours? <laughs> yeah. It's one hour. And you're like, hey, do, the, do acid. Do acid. At some point. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it has, like, a, a cool little acid scene in there, too. And it's... Oh, shit. You what is that? Like a movie? Decisions. It's an interactive Netflix movie. Oh, uh, of, of Black yeah, Mirror. It's like, it's like yeah. choose your own adventure. Yeah. So, like, in the middle of a scene, uh-huh. it'll be like, would you fucking go with the guy or stay with the girl? You oh, they have a bunch of those on Netflix. Oh, right. I can't see that. Yeah, well, they have a Netflix yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, the, bed, the, the yeah. Black Mirror one. That shit's really fun, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they they also did a discussion. version of it. They did a version of it with Bear Grylls. It's like a survival Yeah, that's my kids. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's I fun. I, I, <laughs> I smoked hella weed and went through the whole thing in like one Damn, afternoon. I and like, <laughs> no, it, when you smoke weed and you go through it all, you realize like how he did it and like what's really going on. And it's like, yeah. there's like two tracks he recorded two different hikes and it's like yeah, and then you sometimes you might be watching hike. hike A and then you might make a decision that puts you on hike B but like you, you like you pretty quickly fucking figure it out if yeah. you're just chilling it's weird how when you're high you can tune into shit like that like right. I I remember uh, taking mushrooms and watching Transformers and I thought it was gonna be super awesome and then I was like oh you can just like clearly tell everything that's CGI mm-hmm. way separated from everything else in the movie. Which normally is like, yeah, this is cutting edge. It's like yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. seamless, you know what I mean? No, and with I've, added visual acuity, it looks yeah, like Yeah, you're movie. like, oh, yeah. that's trash. Yeah. You know, yeah. I got super <laughs> eyes. I can see heaven. <laughs> super eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, I've always wondered, though, because I haven't tried this. Maybe you guys have tried it. VR on psychedelics. No. Not yet. 
Nope. I'm on my way. Hard right. no for me, buddy. As soon as I get my head with VR set, yes. I'll try it. I'll try it. No, thank you. I think it's already a drug in of itself. Like, you can put on a VR headset. As and much they, as any game, though. Fun. No, but yeah. they have experiences yeah, in VR fun. that simulate psychedelic experience. Yeah. Like That's co- what I mean, though. What yeah. about if you double down? Is that like, oh, my God, like, dude. Like candy? That would, no, that would be fucked up because you would be, like, having too much going on in the VR, and then you would take it off, and then you would still be in it. Like, it would that, be severely like, milder. I think know. you'd be like, oh yeah, that's my living room. It's just a little fuzzy, no, like maybe. regular ass. And then you're like, whoa, crazy ass. No, you know, <laughs> I, don't know. I think that could be the first case of like people killing themselves in VR because they think that they can't get out of it or whatever. Oh, the fuck maybe like, like you you get trapped in there. Yeah, like, like, eventually you come down. Yeah, cool. Like, have you ever wore fractals? Oh yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah those are fun. Mm-hmm. Those are fun. And sometimes you're like, I can't what, what, see it all. That? It's what? like if your glasses were kaleidoscopes. They make them for when you're doing drugs. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a little intense. Sometimes, sometimes. they look like steampunk goggles. Yeah, oh. but when you look through them, it's like a Whoa. kaleidoscope. That makes know? so much sense why yeah. people wear those. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't know they were welcome, those. I just to, they welcome were... to rave culture, you <laughs> looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know this guy goes, "What's for apples?" <laughs> yeah, like, what? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, like I've done shelter. that before. I've been I'm like, shelter. "Oh, this is crazy," and you kind of forget that like you can actually just take them off and see normal, right? You know, and then you yeah. do, and you're like, "Oh yeah, this isn't that bad." Like you're still really yeah. High. But imagine you take it off and you're like literally peeking on acid. Like, yeah, but you really... already were peaking on acid in the crazy yeah, acid realm. Uh, oh you my know? god, dude. I feel like it would be a quick of... downshift. <laughs> you know? uh, maybe, but I think the right. fact that you were yeah. still I, like you know, uh, experiencing, like, have you seen Inception? Yeah. Like, I feel like you're just setting yourself up to feel like Maul did. Well, but then like, where you're like, I don't know if I'm in it or not. I don't know if I'm in it or not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the idea behind like simulation theory, though, isn't it? Is that like we're putting on VR headsets, but really we are. I mean, are. that's also like, very possible. But like at this moment in time, I'm fully immersed in the simulation, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so it's true. Oh, no. Simulation is fun. Because it's like, I mean, I'm just so, like, what's going to happen once it's like, lights out? Yeah, when they take the goggles Like, while I get blubby hanging you know, out with fucking star. Richard Pryor and Jerry Springer in the, in the game? Or, That'd be dope. Jerry Springer went to heaven? I or think he- you... Who's hell's going to heaven? I, I, I think you probably <laughs> can send into there. some sort of ethereal consciousness. <laughs> That is Send me the you know, see unknowable at this stage. Yeah. I don't know. Are we really just getting into what happens when a nigga dies? Is, <laughs> is that where that is went? that where we're at now? Like, cause it's all pretty much conjecture. That's it's that's true. the magic. <laughs> like nobody knows. The other side. That's the veil. Yeah, I can't wait. Pierce through. I mean, I was almost there with my, my car accident, but like, damn. Yeah, but all those of the And that's the though. thing. Even people who have, like, died and come back, it's like, okay, well, what you saw might have just been your final DMT trip and not even the yeah. real full next thing. That is true. Like, have you talked to people who've been in a coma before, though? <clears throat> no, I haven't talked to them, but I know uh-huh. that there's a bunch of different... There, Like, there's different types of comas and different experiences, and... Like some yeah. of the experiences that some people like, I've I've only heard about YouTube and shit. So mm-hmm. like, just some of the experiences I've heard of is just just trippy. <laughs> oh, Not yeah, trippy, yeah. but it's like it's crazy. Like, like near death stuck. experiences and shit like that. I've re- heard about that a lot. And then there's yeah, like the weird YouTube similarities between high. DMT trips <laughs> and like a lot of people's near death experiences. Well, because your brain releases it on death. Yeah. On death, your brain is like, we need to transition into whatever the next state of consciousness is so craziest psychedelics uh, available please like because that's that's what they do they make you feel like 
we're all one, we're all together, yeah. and like so I imagine. Well, it forces an out of body experience. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that's yeah. why it makes sense to me that it's released when he dies, because it's like, well, no shit, it's fucking yeah. separates yeah, me yeah, from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, yeah. if I come back and then that thing's dead, it's not gonna let me in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that thing's <laughs> dead. I gotta go find it's some the other most shit to do. Thing I gotta get up to some else. The, I'm gonna go explore like, nebulas, dog. I don't know what happens when you die, but I imagine. You ascend to some sort of ethereal level of consciousness that is more interwoven than the version we experience now. I was about to say, but what, will like, we be able to experience that, or do you think we're just the ghost in the show? Like, we are uh, this show. It probably depends on the ghost in the show, right? Like, because we're all probably here for a certain, like, a reason, as in... <laughs> Our spirit is trying to learn something yeah. by being here. And so if you learn what you're trying to learn, which you don't know what you're trying to learn once you incarnate, you that's the part learn. of the whole fuckery of it. Yeah. But <clears throat> if you learn enough, I would imagine you get to like bop out of the cycle of death and rebirth. But if you don't learn the lesson, then see Hinduism like you're yeah. <laughs> like you're just <laughs> sort of going around on a wheel until you figure it out but I think the enlightenment Buddhism other like eastern spiritualities like there's probably a way to jump off of that wheel of death and rebirth and ascend to an either even higher plane of consciousness but like that's so unknowable that it's like uh, that may or may not happen when you die. You might yeah. just die and well, reboot everything into a new person and like unknowable. just yeah. start over again. So do you like because you're not learn, you're not figuring it out. So, so do you guys believe in reincarnation? Do you guys think you're gonna uh, be reincarnated? I, yeah, I think it's I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's as I think it's an option. As anything else. I think it's yeah. an option. Like yeah. I honestly think when you die, there's a bunch of options. Like, kind of depending on how you lived and then, like, how you died and your beliefs and stuff. So, you'll probably be presented with maybe not all the options, some of the options. Some yeah. people might get all options. Like, there's probably different options when you die. <laughs> like, I would imagine, just like in life, there's different options. I would imagine in there's death, there's probably some different there's routes action. you could walk. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Rebirth is probably one of them. Ascendance is probably one of them. And then, yeah, if you're a Hitler type being, you might be <laughs> banished to the nether realms. Well, I don't so you gotta go to the ghosts. Oh, huh? Do you believe in ghosts, though? Uh, kind of a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's definitely possible that the energy, the conscious energy, is imprinted on physical things, and so it that. like lingers. Yeah. Like that's definitely possible. It's also definitely possible that there are beings in other realms of, like, consciousness and existence layered on top of ours that are moving through their realm and sometimes, like, our realm and their realm, like, sort of yeah. cross over. And so it's like they're walking through our space or we're in their space, but they might be more aware of us than we are of them, or we might be more aware of yeah. this spirit than the spirit is of us. Like, So it's more of like... it. it listen, metaphysics gets crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like, it could be any number of things, but point blank, bottom line, I believe consciousness is an energy, and energy cannot be destroyed, destroyed. or created, mm. only transformed. Therefore... Throughout a multiverse, if that's what, if science is right, yeah. and consciousness populates the entire multiverse, or most of it, like, it just sort of makes sense that it's going to be, we're going to have some weird, you know, rubbing up against other consciousness, other energies, like, it's just, okay. it's bound to happen, it's going to happen. If you want to call that a ghost... <laughs> well, see, so... Parts of that. There's also there's also like this that. weird thing when you get into like you your brain creates its own reality, mm -hmm. right? So you might be manifesting into existence ghosts. 
just by like memories of loved ones who have died. Sure, if you're yeah, absolutely. carrying that with you, you're kind of in a way carrying a fraction of their consciousness with you. Um, which is why people say like you don't you're like as long as people remember you, you haven't really died. You or some cultures say like you there's when you die and then there's when your name is spoken for the last time and mm-hmm. that's when you really die. Like yeah, shit then like no that. One remembers it. Exactly. Yeah. Like so you, in that sense and the way the human brain works, it's like a fucking quantum computer and we live in this weird quantum soup. And they affect each other somehow, and we're not quite sure. If there's something bubbling around in the quantum computer, like a memory of an individual, like I could totally see you basically projecting that into reality and sort of forming a ghost. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that might be a thing. There's also probably go like specific objects being imprinted or specific locations having so much, like, dark energy in them that <laughs> they become tainted. You can like feel I, energy in objects. Like, I like, definitely, like, and places. There's, like, there's a moth energy, in here. There is a moth in around. here. Yeah, no, but, but, like, but a quick no, way that you can always tell yeah, that you can feel energy in objects, if you ever grab a freshly morning. used dildo, uh, it makes your dick hard. Fair. Good point. It's still wet. Bam. Totally, totally different way yeah, of maybe describing this leading. but if you go Science, right? yeah That's but also if test. you <laughs> if you go to the site of something horrendous on the planet earth you get sad Oops, like it's just yeah. it's in the land and you can feel it like yeah so what... consciousness is weird it's wild metaphysics is all conjecture but it's my favorite place to play in philosophy so you know, it's all hearsay and mumbo jumbo. But I feel like all hell, the topics I that fun. I thought Brett would be super into, he's just like metaphysics, fractals. I'm lost. I'm out of it. Yeah. Oh, Start talking about Nampa and Mexicans. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and plants. And, and plants. <laughs> I've plants. got three things. I've got three things, <laughs> all right? I love plants. And plants. I have three things, okay? It's a prime number. <laughs> three is a prime number. Are you more number. of an indoor plant guy or outdoor plant guy? Outside. Outside. He's an outside. <laughs> what about greenhouse? <laughs> <laughs> Outdoor for sure. Yeah, it's got me giggling. yeah, what's coming into bloom right now? Dude, everything. Is that uh, what's yeah. fucking up my allergies? Let's fucking, let's yeah, fucking ever up since I got to Boise, my allergies have been fucking. What's funny is early. I'm seeing trends in the season. So like this year, I see everyone on Instagram right now because right now Catalpas are blooming they're the big trees with the huge leaves right and they make these big pods they're related they're in the fabaceae family they relate to peas but um yeah sorry <laughs> i don't know why i did that it's fabby. for the peas they're related you know. to peas uh, for the boss like, <laughs> for the peas and the cues uh the rsts for the boss. <laughs> Trends, allergies, <laughs> trees. Trees are blooming like crazy. <laughs> and, I don't know. This season's been so weird because it was so kind of like wet. cold. And then now it's It wet. was cold for a long time. We're in June wet. and it's like yeah. still storming. It's like trying to do spring, but it's summer. Like. So yeah. is this weird weather fucking with people's allergies right now and shit. Know, it depends on your allergies like okay. i feel like I, everything's just bl- is just coming yeah. on a little later than are normal. you allergic to grasses not really grasses but because all the grasses are blooming yeah that's well, what probably, i was gonna say they, they probably yeah, yeah they, I think, there's no grass no yeah grass. i think there's I, probably I, I some wild okay. grasses you're allergic to because i am allergic to trees and fucking ragweed which is a piece of shit fucking anyway. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I know the trees were getting it on like towards the beginning of summer 
and I know the ragweed happens at the end, and I'm, like, relatively safe right now, which leads me to believe, odd man out, it's got to be the grass that's getting you right now. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, well, yes. Fuck, you're fuck safe. you, grass. Because I'm safe, yeah. yeah. And if I got the other two, then, like, and that's, like, those are the things that the majority of pollen allergies are attributed to is those three things, trees, grasses, ragweed. And there's a lot At of least grass. in this area. That makes sense. Yeah. Is that your dog? I think it's my neighbor's dog, but there's a good chance it's my dog. Uh, my dogs are on the car chilling. Oh, they're okay because it's kind of cooler outside. Yeah, they're probably just sleeping. I always think about like, what would they be doing at home right now? Yeah. 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 Is it Plus, and lazy? Puppies like yeah. like, to, like to go on yeah. rides. Fucking yeah. Ma. Try to eat me. Was <laughs> yeah, I was gonna find, find around in this thing for fucking two hours. Well, stuck in the but, fridge, you can't get out. Stuck in the fridge. He's trying to like sneak behind that shit show flag and he ain't trying to like eat my face off. <laughs> <laughs> no He's got a really easy out, bro. Yeah. Just oh, the way. The other what way. is cool though is from a moth's perspective, <laughs> that little blow up space shuttle probably looks like a life size space shuttle. That's true. So yeah. I gotta make it past. Oh, yeah, that time he tried to attack me though. So <laughs> he's in the cosmos, bro. Uh, so, yeah, about uh, trees. So, can you grow good weed since you know botany and shit? I, ha- I, have, I have grown weed before. Can you grow some good weed? I, uh, we probably got a, a pound or so off this, like, one plant, because then we just ended up putting it in a friend's backyard. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. But that was enough for for us at the time, and then, I, I mean, I moved in Idaho, so I never really, um, adventured. Yeah, yeah, like, I put it. one in my garden one time, and my roommate's dog... Uh, ran out there and dug it up like two days later. Motherfucker! And so it, uh, that was like the closest to, and I lived in it. Cause I had, yeah. What would you grow? Know what strain it was? No. N- was so was the, it outdoor or indoor? So the first time it was just an, a, a little plant that someone gave me. So it was indoor and it was in my, I just had it forever. And that's the one I put out in the garden. And then ended up getting eaten, dominated in like a day. And the second time I started, I tried to grow some weed. Uh, my roommate started the plants and it was indoor. And I ended up inheriting them because of a whole other situation. We can't talk. We don't need to talk. We can't talk about it, but it's like a whole other story. And I don't need to in, in dive dive into that but he had 12 plants in his room and i needed to move them to my room because it had a lock on the door and i had a bigger room so i had 12 plants in my at one point for a while just in my closet and then i like gave a majority of them away and ended up raising just the one and putting it in someone's yard until they could get some weed off of it so like i never really like did all i i did one time work in oregon like working on a little greenhouse thing and i've trimmed weed before so that's pretty cool (laughs) (laughs) so that's (laughs) (laughs) now when they pay you in weed and then you bring it back here it's yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's the definitely any of the stuff that was stuck on your fingers you got to take it in <laughs> <laughs> you had to take it it was stuck to you what are you gonna do yeah I you make, you, once. You make a scissor hash. I only did it a few times, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just uh... <laughs> yes, that's a dog. Bro. Yeah, uh, that's my spirit animal. I think for sure, dog. Dog, dog. I got dog energy. You see that? Yeah. Of attention. Very you much were, of attention. Golden retriever. If you'd rub my belly, I'd probably be okay with it. Kind of Man, a thing. So if, so if you, you were a furry, you'd be a, a dog. I mean, yeah. If we're if we're if we're defining our spirit animals by what sexual animal will be, yeah, 
Wait, I don't. I mean, he had. He, I said my spirit animal would be a dog, and he said so. My furry animal would be a dog. Oh, because he likes his belly rub and shit too. Well, you yeah, like your fursona and your spirit animal don't necessarily have to be the same thing. I mean, I feel like sometimes they could. But probably, oh, oftentimes they overlap. Yeah, yeah, probably sure, not but, necessary. Uh, so I can see yeah. myself as like a panda on both sides. The yeah, you try to right, yeah. just okay. nut and roll out. I like, just roll over. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. I mean, pandas are actually notoriously like kind of low libido. Did you know that? Yeah, and eat like, carrots. Yeah, or so. like, uh, every couple year, every bang week. one out type yeah. of animal. Yeah, that's all. That's all I need. Her. That's ah, all I need. Yeah, that's shit. all I want to do. No, no. We just, just gonna be coolin', we chillin'. <laughs> so these what? birds are like, a hey, I don't want to reproduce like a fucking bass. You know? I don't want to be like a salmon. <laughs> I don't want to be a salmon. <laughs> or a Dude, no mantis, one's like. persona <laughs> is salmon. Yeah, my spirit is salmon. Hey, you got a fish mask on? I'm out. No oh, one man. has ever been salmon. <laughs> I feel like that's a good choice, though. <laughs> Maybe a spirit animal, but it's not a spirit animal. But there's so many animals that would match so with you. you know? Oh, my like, if God. If you're out there on the dance floor, there's just a drooling bear. The like bear, yeah. Fucking salmon. Dude, fucking salmon. Yeah, I, I don't know about the fursona thing, like, but I know what my spirit animal is because of a weird uh, spiritual experience I had when I was a kid. My spirit animal is a raccoon, and I used to go to this temple that was like an interfaith temple where the lady who like ran the temple or gave the speeches or whatever you want to call it, sermons or something, yeah. she was a channel, like a channeled being where she would do like a meditation and then another entity would go possess her body and then she would give a speech as a different person i yeah, saw that thing. Shit. and then you would yeah, saw about that. well so i used to go to that thing a lot my mom would take me there like at, like weekly you know like church kind of uh-huh. thing and then but after the sermon she would give everyone would line up that wanted to do it she would sit in the back thing as the channel would be and you'd go back there to ask her a question but you don't say anything she just tells you the answer and I went one time, only one time, because it terrified me when I was a kid. Because uh-huh. I thought it was fake, and I was like, oh, no one could just, like, do that or whatever. What did she tell you if you meant to? Do you well, yeah, so that's how I found out my spirit answer. animal, is I was like, oh, I was wondering what my spirit animal is. And as soon as <laughs> I walked back there, I put my hands down like that, and then she put her hands on top of my hands, oh, and no. didn't even touch them, and then said she has, like, a weird voice. She said it was a raccoon, and I never even said anything the whole time I was back there. So I just left, like, oh, and that, was, <laughs> my that was your, that was your and question going in? Well, going in, yeah. And then animal. I never got in that line ever again. <laughs> I was like, what sure, was the a fuck? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was probably a swarm of moths. <laughs> but it was like one of the weirdest experiences I've ever Dude, had. That's wild. But I wish it would have happened to me as an adult because I feel like I would have gone back in with a lot more alive? questions. Where is she now? Like, well, they don't fun? have that temple anymore. Uh, but her name was Mother Ilwan. It's called Mother Ilwan's Teaching Temple. Uh, and they had it for years when I was a kid, but I don't know what happened God to damn, it. Now. The moths are multiplying. Oh, they probably the love how I have all these flags and fucking cloths and shit up here. I think the and lights, <laughs> yeah. Is the key. Which I like light. Jesus. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's super weird. So, you want to hear something fun? In the right turn. Uh, tomorrow. To what right is today? Turn. What is today? Thursday. Thursday. We're going into Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's Friday. So Saturday, uh, I'm doing um, oh, Uber good. Spicy After Dark. <laughs> nice. With uh, Jack Turnage. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know which episode we're going to watch, but I'm pretty excited. And he's been sending me cute little voice messages. Uh-huh. And I love that boy. Nice. And he is so cute. I just did a show out in Nampa with him and uh, Jack Wheeler and then Jake. Uh, yeah, yeah, the mine. Jack versus Jake's. How'd that go? It was fun. Nice. Fun. Yeah. Is he, that, that, that poster river? was gold. Yeah. I loved it. 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 Yeah, yeah, it was so... So, so he photoshopped everyone to look like me? Yeah. 
That's right, yeah. dude. Used you as the. <laughs> they took your picture originally, and then just put everyone else's head on your body. I have to. I, I have to it. give. I have to give my friend, who's also named Jack, credit for that, because that that's what he commented on that post. Mm. I photoshopped your own little buggy. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Shout out a different Jack, Jack Dillion. Jack, if you're listening, Jack. all these funny <laughs> Jacks, man. Yeah, it's out of control, really. Jack Daniels. You told me a funny story Cracker about uh, doing a gig at the Whiskey uh, Whiskey River where you were man in the show all alone. <laughs> where you're con- contractually obliged to fill like 45 minutes. No, yeah, it was like an hour. I was supposed to like chill there for like pretty much an hour. And yeah, I was the only one there. You were the only one there. I restarted uh, my... I mean, I could have... Pro- well, okay, so here's the thing. I mean, Whiskey River and all y'all. Whiskey River, what's that? Shout out. It's a Oh, they here, listen to this. No, they listen to this. They might. Sure. Who knows, dude? Uh, 110% they're listening. Listen, this is what my marketing crew has told me to do. <laughs> Just th- apologize first. Be on their side. Uh, yeah. That's what they all say. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I was there hosting for Tilly because she was doing other stuff, uh, so I was doing that for her, which was awesome, but it's in Nampa, and so the mic starts at 8, but professional poker and darts don't end until (coughs) 9, and so you're kind of like competing with, uh... With 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 poker and uh, or with uh, with darts and pool, yeah. pool is what I meant to say, and they have competitive. And this night specifically, uh, there was like a big tournament type thing going on, yeah, yeah. and so I'm like trying to riff. And, and, and you guys know my comedy. I'm trying to kind of like engage the crowd because I'm not just gonna do my material to a bunch of people that aren't listening yeah why do that (laughs) i mean i did it a little uh, and not not just a little bit when actual people came in i did it two or three different times i'm like hey well we're starting over uh (laughs) i I announced it to the room no one else is here new people are here you seem interested you might want to let that cool down that's getting hot uh (laughs) it was hot back here (laughs) Yeah, I was it like, made its way damn. all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> went the went the distance. It's the old finger burner. Ultimately, yeah. So uh, I didn't do a whole yeah. thing. I restarted a few times at the Whiskey River. Oh, yeah. Doing a whole thing. Sounds <laughs> like you got through it though. Yeah. I did. The 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 pool people were not happy with me like at all. Ah, <laughs> I was oh, definitely no. too involved in what they were doing, and they did not appreciate it. And I were you was calling their shots you, for them or something. <laughs> <laughs> just just shy of that, pretty much. <laughs> the <laughs> line. I was like, so how long is and you know I'm asking, I'm dude, I'm. I'm fucking talk show hosting this thing kind of right now. I'm like, what do you guys do? How long have you been together? What's the prize for winning this? Once I found out the prize, I definitely belittled that a little, probably too much. What was the uh, prize? Oh, it was like, if yeah, they won, they get, <laughs> no, it was this team of eight versus like this team of three or something, which was first off crazy. That's the first thing I probably made fun of. Uh, and then if they won, they got three hundred dollars that they have to split eight ways. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but they get to go to Vegas, Vegas for a chance that uh, I, I mean I can't quite remember More the money. amount of money, but it wasn't still like split three <laughs> ways. I mean, you know, it'd still be cool. Don't get me wrong. Get yeah. to go to Vegas. They probably I mean, pay for it. I don't know. Well, you live years, there, so but as a person that yeah, does it, as people. Little Nampa pool uh, people that yeah. don't ever go anywhere. Which I'm surprised y'all don't because the Legion has been doing this fucking <laughs> Thursday to Sunday fucking $99 fucking for like the dawn of time. But yeah, yeah. come on down. 
That's a cool. That's cool though. Like that you, you, you can win a chance to go take you to. Shit to it the was next cool. Level. I mean, take it to the next level. Somebody, to the somebody you won. Have somewhere to perform. I definitely was making fun of that the whole time because that's what I do. I wonder why they weren't on board sometimes. though. Yeah, I wonder why. You uh, should <laughs> ask them if they like plants. Shoulda. Uh, <laughs> Shoulda. You can always. It's hard when. Is that what's gonna die? Is that what's, <laughs> that what's gonna die? Because it's a shitty plant. So yeah, the girl. whole thing, the whole idea about being buried with a plant on top of you, or my joke. No, 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 like, or like having have like your ashes like put into like a pot, an urn thing, the urn, and then plant it. Is that like like that's real? real. Like, that's a real thing. Is it's that called real? a bio urn? And it's like super beneficial to the earth, right? I mean, but if like, you think about it, in some sense, it depends. I mean, there's probably definitely negative thoughts against it. If you think about it in the sense of how much space that we're wasting on uh, graves, graves, just random oh, graves. You just yeah, plant you know. trees instead of people that you can yeah. like go on. Oh, oh, now we have a beautiful forest. Yeah, Makes sense. and so like that's you just one forest, one outlook. Sure, on it. but it doesn't have to be. The the trees It'll can be still be forest. dedicated to the people who could... like earn it was yeah. right, and then you can go and decorate the tree dog. Yeah. Like once so it becomes a certain size, you can maybe like carve <laughs> something in it right. or something, so and you can like, even still have a tombstone or something in front of the tree. Well, like right. that still says, "This is my tree. This is it my." Definitely person. wouldn't yeah. be more creepy than a graveyard. Like, no, it's a, it's a <laughs> step up from but, that for sure. Uh, you know but I mean? yeah. but yeah, yeah, I guess you're like just kind of taking advantage of what you're doing already. Like you're just yeah. taking yeah and, and, and plants yeah. and. And stuff. It's, it's uh, a good uh, idea uh, to uh, help with reforestation because, like, motherfuckers dying every day. Imagine yeah. if each one of those came with a tree being planted. Like, yeah. that would maybe help with the numbers. I don't know. They but, at least uh, owe the earth back. Like, right. It would maybe <laughs> even one, some shit out. The tally's a little bit, like, like 750 million trees used. Right. One yeah. return. Exactly. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you know about air plants? You ever grow an air plant before? Yeah, air yeah. Plant. like a plant that doesn't grow in the ground, just has it. Yeah. Air. So what? where do they come yeah. from? They grow on like the side of trees and stuff, like in mossy areas, like in the rainforest, and they get most of their moisture from dew. But they don't need soil to live. Uh, so they just well, hang out. Your car, I and you can it. have like the from the mirror. What the fuck? It's yeah. gonna die. It has a pop, you said it's gonna die. Get it's it's gonna die. You it get is it dying. That's why. It yeah. Is. <laughs> Too hot. Too, Too hot. hot. Okay. Get Too it out. Hot. Get, get it out. out. Makes sense. <laughs> you said it like it was a roast in the oven. You're like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's burning. Shit. Get it out. Is she in there right now? Yeah. It's like a How long has it been in there? Yeah. Jesus. You were more worried about that plant in his car than the dogs in your car. <laughs> 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 They're going to die. <laughs> 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 Okay. Edit that. <laughs> edit that. You gotta cut that yeah. from my image. Clip it. Yeah. They're fine. They're <laughs> fine. <laughs> so is an ear plant. <laughs> They're not in the heat of the day like it's air plant. <laughs> no, it's probably like 65. Yeah, it's, it's fine outside. Maybe, that maybe just, even 55. It was just a, an observation. Hi, my name's LJ Sullivan. I'm a stand comedy. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect comedy. <laughs> but, in all seriousness, but yeah, get that air plant. Yeah, get that air plant out of there. Where's awesome. a good place then? Just like in your room? Uh, does your bathroom have a window? There you go. No. Oh well. Mm. Uh, it's just strange. I never thought of that until now. No, just uh, just somewhere by like that's like a bright room. It doesn't need to be in direct light. Just a bright room, and then you need to mist it every day. Mist it <laughs> every yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, so hey, high. do you drink coffee in the morning? <laughs> 
Oh, what do you do Not in the morning? Usually. What's Smoke your morning weed. routine? Time out. So mo- most of the time I hang out with my kids. Okay. No, sh- so no, it's not, a real not, slow go not, morning. Not like just like the like the the blanket that you're putting. Just hang out with my. So when when Jake wakes up in the morning, what what's the first thing you do? Take a shit. Uh, no, I drink bed. a glass of water. So when you go, yeah, do you drink that like in the bathroom or down in the kitchen? In the kitchen. And do you have a, a light in the kitchen? Yeah. A, a window, I mean? Yeah. Uh, it has so a bunch of plants in front of it. Perfect. Yeah. So when you go down there... A little pot so listen, of, uh, listen, <laughs> listen, weird listen. Looking. Have a, have a spray bottle right by your kitchen sink. Is that where you get your water? Where do you get your water from? When you yeah, go? but if this is it's all from the sink. To when I get my water, Dude. I'm also watering plants. <laughs> that plants yeah. fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> my, the glass of water is routine, but my eyes aren't fully open by the time I'm done. Like you drinking that glass drink of that water. water, make it part uh, of the routine. Make miss. I don't know. You uh, miss it, <laughs> Bob, so, Bob, dude. It's not even mine. <laughs> Tell her. Her. <laughs> what to her fucking? Does she drink coffee? Well, but that's Nobody why in this home she drinks does, coffee. Yeah, I mean, I don't. She but, drinks coffee every day. Put a squirt bottle by her fucking coffee maker and be like, hey, spray the fucking plant, please. Uh, nice lady. Right. <laughs> give maybe give her a little kiss on the cheek I'll and say, right where our coffee machine is, I'll hang the plant right yeah. by it. And mm-hmm. then put the bo- a little bottle next to the little plant on top of the coffee machine. The little bottle <laughs> and all that was really cute and comedic. Yeah, like no, all, sure how all everything right. was getting smaller in that. Like the little plant and the little bottle. It was like, fuck, it's too miniature. I can't handle this. I mean, I see all the little drop. fucking figurines. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have a little pack of bacon. <laughs> Your boobies, honey, I shrunk the kid. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a fetish. Oh, I wish, dude. dude, because then I'd make all that shit full size if I had a shrink rate. What was the other one? It Turn wasn't out, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. What was the other one? Honey, honey I, I Shrunk, shrunk the kids. kids. Yeah. That honey, one. I Shrunk Ourselves. Yeah. Honey, I Shrunk Ourselves. And yeah, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Blew Up the Kid, I think, was a better film. I like the Shrunk I feel like it was, kinda, shrunk it was really too. funny, and they kind of spoofed, I think, on... Because... Um, uh, it was, right, it was a little bit after... Um, what, Eddie Murphy? No, Ghostbusters 2 with oh, the marshmallow. Yeah. Mm, kind of like yeah. running through town yeah. type of vibe. But it's still really good. Mm-hmm. Vaguely, I haven't seen that but either of those movies in... Hot minute, dude. Hot minute. Hot. Let me see when we go watch Boomerang now. Boomerang? Like the... Eddie yeah. Murphy movie. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, you were thinking the cartoon. Yeah, I the cartoon also. Yeah, that too. But, but but Boomerang now shows like all the shit that I grew up on. I don't like it. Yeah, that's upsetting. It makes me feel old. We yeah. gotta. It's like, like whenever you listen to classic be, rock, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. This came out like, <laughs> like a 2010. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, thing. Now we're just wrong. old men <laughs> complaining, but yeah, we could. There needs to be a home for the classic cartoons, man, because they can't die. Well, that die. was Boomerang right. before, I thought. That's what I'm saying, and, like, like people need to start seeing that shit more like they see music. Because kids see, here's today what I do. I, I trick still my know kids. about, like, fucking Led Zeppelin and ACDC. Like, that shit doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. It just gets handed down. But they're not going to know about Mike Hart and you know? They're not going to know about Robot Jones. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> if it's on streaming services, though, you can trick your kids into it. Like, I have them watch lots of old cartoons that I used to watch. Like, Tom and Jerry's on Netflix. My it's on HBO oldest too, son loves, loves Tom and Jerry. Loves Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry coming up for me, pivotal. Pivotal. I had the movie on VHS <laughs> where they fucking talk. Like, that was. Oh, that's I, my mind was blown, dude. When they fucking started talking, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was. It was next level. Is that level. the one where they like, meet up under a bridge? I vaguely remember a bridge. Maybe they might have met up under a bridge in that movie. Because I feel like I remember Tom and The most recent one, the live action one, have you watched that on HBO? That sounds like a fever dream. That sounds like a it's nightmare. A live, it's not action. Really, a live action Tom and It's Jerry. really not it's as bad. bad. It's not the as beginning bad. intro song to it's uh can i kick it oh yeah, yeah. She can. and they're yeah. like going through new york 
What the fuck? Yeah, it's actually <laughs> like Southwest. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's Tom and Jerry movie. like running through the city of New York. Yeah. <laughs> My kid, yeah, so that's like it. his favorite cartoon. If I watched you, that if shit. You, if you say you like Tom out. and Jerry. Yeah, right? now I have to fucking watch this shit. <laughs> it's it's cool. all where? HBO? Yeah, yeah HBO. HBO, yeah. Or, it, oh, Max. Max. Max, Max yeah. yeah, that new bullshit. Can we just, Max. real quick, HBO executives, I know you're listening. Uh, what a guys. dumb fuck move that was. Yeah, especially because you don't own right, Max.com. So if I go to HBO, I have to go to Redirect. <laughs> that's fucking so stupid yeah and then the, the, your redirect link says go to max but it's not max.com someone else owns that shit you change your name you don't even own the website so oh, wow. fucking so, stupid <laughs> yeah, you just go to hbo go dot com and then it's a redirect page to max that's so stupid it's branding at its best oh, no. <laughs> I guess they just oh, need a new interface I think too many people are trashing HBO. But they just like, we just need this out of the name. <laughs> Who was trashing yeah, HBO? I was, like, I was loving HBO. HBO. I, was I, like, love, I love the you know I love the streaming service. But HBO. I've definitely heard a lot of jokes about all the networks in general because yeah, they all kind of fail. I mean, yeah, but HBO has like always the been like the side. one. Yeah, thing. because well, they like, started a streaming thing. That's the only reason they're still alive. Cause like even like, but they were also kind of the original motherfucker to like do shit like that. Like, well, and to do like cutting edge content. Yeah, and, like, exactly. Late night features. Like and, HBO has been a household name. For you know how many decades. times I used to flip yeah. over from HBO, HBO after originals. dark to fucking Cartoon Network at you know eleven p.m. Yeah. You gotta hit that adult swim. Yeah. You gotta hit that recall button, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you that last channel. Uh, yeah. the old you sit there watching fucking, what was it shit called? Taxi G- Cab Confessions. Dad, uh, G-String <laughs> Diaries or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah all Real the sex. HBO after <laughs> fucking Girl Gone Wild Cinemax. Cinemax. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, all that stuff. All that stuff, Oh, what man. a wonderful youth we had. Oh, oh. yes. It'll never be quite the same ever again. Nah, because now, now these kids have fucking virtual reality porn. And shit. Yeah. They, Which, that is just, that's too much. <laughs> I think we need that to really, crazy. I think all pornography should be old school. Let's what, go back TV? to okay. magazines. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought yeah, you were yeah, yeah. on the shooting end of it, not on the consuming end of it. <laughs> no. no, we need to go back to fucking <laughs> magazines, like gentlemen. <laughs> like, that's... Like real Christians. Leave exactly, <laughs> bro. Like, Leave a little to the imagination. All of this digitized sexuality is... is I don't trust robots is really what this all comes down to. <laughs> I don't want a robot I sucking don't. my dick. I don't want I, that's, I don't want I don't want them knowing what I like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't, They'll I use it against they, me. Yeah, they exactly. will the robot they will. war. They will totally <laughs> use it against me and I'm not I'm not about it. Um, no uh no. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, you remember what I did that fantasy. one time? Uh, just fucking no. Just plug me into the hard drive No <laughs> the hard drive what the fuck? Now you gotta Technical plug it into your ear because you're gonna get that Elon Technical Musk battle. fucking brain implant. I yeah. will not get <laughs> Neuralink <laughs> put in there. And they they I'm not Neuralink getting Neuralink in until a US 12 port. years after what the first motherfucker who got Neuralink. So, God. what if Neuralink knows exactly what you like and then you just push a uh, cum button and you never have to masturbate again and you just go. Oh, that, right. no, that, see, that takes all the pageantry exactly out of like. it. That, take, that takes <laughs> all the... Takes all the experience. Yeah, I, you're It'll listening save to a guy time. who values vinyl. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna... <laughs> It'll save me time, I think. It'll save a lot of time, I feel like. I'm yeah. sure there will be days where I use the button, but, like... There's also gonna be days where it's like, all right, let's. let's I want to really... kick it old. Style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let me use my left yeah. hand and flip it upside down. Exactly. <laughs> Make it feel like a butthole. That's what comedians say. It's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's the kind of thing yeah. guys talk about. You broke this motherfucker. Right <laughs> She's like, that's the kind of thing guys <laughs> would say. Like, Yo, you ever jerk off? Flip your head upside down. <laughs> 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 
nigga, bro. <laughs> 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 I remember <laughs> saying, that's what was stuck in my <laughs> head. I remember saying, that's what was stuck in my head. 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 Yes, sir. Ra- Ralphie <laughs> may have more like bits about jacking off. You guys know what I'm talking about? I think so. He like acts out all the different types of jacking off. Yeah. It's like you got the standard ketchup bottle. Yeah. What? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. You know, you got the Kawasaki dirt bike. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. It has a bunch of different like ass outs with it. But they're all pretty original. Oh, they're all pretty original. <laughs> Plus, uh, everyone's hit, hit the ketchup bottle a little bit. You know? <laughs> I don't even remember what we're talking about. AI or he something? Made yeah. you, he made you laugh so hard he gave you his allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we did over an hour. Is and this these guys an did an hour and a half, so now we're like on a three hours for the three of us. So what we can up? keep going as long as you guys want, but I just figured I'd let you know. And, and also, he's like, I have people. a fucking morning. <laughs> well, and I don't always like to give people opportunity to plug stuff, so if people want to buy their plants or uh, figure out how to get air plants back on the mend oh, and out of the know. car. This is the, if they're listening to this podcast, then I recommend them to come to my work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> You're like, that's the worst thing I could do uh, right now. Hey, I heard you on the fridge, Fritz, but uh, don't talk about that. Hey, uh, don't talk about I'm not going to have a job. What really you heard long. there is for the fridge, Fritz. <laughs> I'm glad you're a friend, but keep it in the fridge. Right? <laughs> yeah. Ice box, bro. Fucking. Come talk to me about around back, though. Little, little spark of J. What happens in the fridge stays in the fridge. Until it goes on YouTube. Like, sure. yeah, right the on. whole thing goes on. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking podcast, that fucking guy, LJ Sullivan. Was recently on the Pretty Good Podcast. I was recently on this podcast. Watch that episode. Certainly it's probably a link or something and a something or other. Yeah, and if uh, you want to throw it back, listen to the old episode. That old episode. It's one hey, of my favorite you ones. You know what you should do, actually, because I mentioned this on the Pretty Good Podcast? You should look up the shuttle so we can get yeah. Jay Nelson back into this oh, fucking yeah. podcast yeah. again, dog. Shouts out Jeremy to Jeremy Nelson. Nelson. Yeah. yeah. The shuttle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you know, there's all types of podcasts everywhere, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, you can catch me also on the. Uh, I forgot the name of the fucking podcast I'm doing. <laughs> that one. It's on uh, at Boise Media Co. or uh, on YouTube. It's okay. called, oh yeah, Day Out. Okay. It's called Day Out Podcast. Check out the Day Out Podcast. Okay. My well, boy Justin. Uh, it was also featuring my boy Andy. Uh, Andy Phantom. Oh, yeah? Good shit. Yeah. Any well, relation to Danny? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Danny's not a photographer. Uh, that shit slapped. <laughs> that cartoon, Danny oh, Phantom? Yeah. Danny yeah. Phantom, dude. Danny Ooh, Phantom. That, was, that was just good shit, bro. That was the same who that made Fairly Odd Pair, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yes. Yeah. You can kind of tell the animation. Yeah, you can tell with too. the eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the hair. And they had Complain. the they had the obligatory early two thousands hot goth girl there oh, yeah. present present well, <laughs> well, present and accountable. But was she hotter than she go? No, 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 she no, goes she hard to beat, she Doug. Okay. <laughs> she was also that hot she goth goth was girl. double caked up. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck <laughs> you talking about? Hey, on a Tuesday, uh, hey, 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 yeah. Fucking kids are out. Yeah, <laughs> you're fighting crime in high school right now. She was not playing around. around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She had some well, cheeks. don't forget though, follow oh, Jet yeah, Lag. at Jetlag Media uh, at DJ the Jimmy. If you want to see my personal shit, I don't do that very important. Just hang out with these guys, smoke yeah. with me all day. What well, that's where you see all his pictures. Uh, you buy pictures from him. Shout out to S- Support local <laughs> artists. Follow Brett Haney on social media. Yeah, As look always. Me for photos. 
jkmartin.com for all my social media, links to the podcast. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. DJ on the camera so you know it's dripping sauce. Woo. I wish I had a catchphrase. <laughs> I want you to cut it right there. <laughs> I wish I had a catchphrase. <laughs> and then just fades out. <laughs>